The book of Acts is packed full of miracles done by the disciples in Jesus' name. It's been said imitation is the purest form of flattery, and that's exactly what happened in Acts 19. Others began using Jesus' name to mimic the miracles that were taking place. Some of these were traveling exorcists, and others were the sons of a Jewish priest, clearly not followers of Jesus. But listen to what happens when these imitators, the sons of Sceva, try to cast out a spirit in verse 15. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? Then the man on whom the Spirit was leapt on them, overpowered them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. This became known both to all the Jews and Greeks dwelling in Ephesus. And fear fell on them all, and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. How was Jesus magnified? Well, many of those who saw and believed began confessing their sins and burning their books on magic. So what can you and I learn from this story today? First, we need to recognize that spiritual warfare is very real. Because the seven sons of Sceva had no real relationship with Jesus, they had no spiritual power against the evil spirit. They left the encounter naked and wounded. It was dangerous for them to take the reality of spiritual warfare lightly. And second, Christians must remove temptations in their lives. Get rid of books, images, computer files, statues, charms, or games, or whatever else may be connected with demonic spirits. They should also destroy them so they can never be used again by themselves or by others. 19th century preacher Charles Spurgeon said this, You will have enough temptation in your own mind without going after these things. Is there any habit, any practice that you've got that defiles your soul? If Christ loves you and you come to trust in him, you will make short work of it, having done with it and have done with it forever.